body. You know, you watch a report like that and you think back to the time when, when my mother was have, giving birth to me. She was never warned of any problems with, you know, smoking My grandmother or had drinking. all of her kids at yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah, big difference with medical technology, and I think that's one of the reasons this legislation yeah. is coming into the forefront. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Colleen. Possible tax on uh, carryout. You can't force a woman to uh, have a blood transfusion to save her own life, but you can force her to have a blood transfusion to save the life of her unborn child. It has been done right here in Columbus by the same judge who had ordered a cocaine addict to enter a treatment program to protect her fetus. Uh, he is part of Colleen Marshall's a look at the legal aspects of fetal rights as she can continues the series that we are calling Birth Rights. Well, Judge Charles Petrie set the stage for the latest and most prominent look at the rights of the unborn in Ohio. Janet Cox was the pregnant woman in question, but it could have been any woman who uses drugs or alcohol excessively. And some fear it may soon be any woman who does any number of things that affect her unborn child.